Hello everyone, your Sock Monkey here. And today I've got a video for you of a 1993 Ford Mustang Cobra R. I would like to thank Frankie at First Class Motors Direct of Addison, Illinois for allowing me to film an example of his inventory today. Now, like the 1995 Cobra R that I had on my channel recently and the 2000 Cobra R that follows the 95 Cobra R, the 1993 Cobra R was the first foray by Ford's special vehicle team into the market of high performance Ford Mustangs that you could take on the track. And as such, as you'll see, the Cobra R is very much in that spirit and the fact that there is a lot of weight reduction that goes into this vehicle. Now, starting off the vehicle, you do have these beautiful uh, black pony wheels on the vehicle that also showcase the braking system that's in the vehicle. You do have your Cobra badge right there. Black mirror caps. This plastic piece is where the radio antenna would go, but obviously there is no radio antenna because there's no radio. That was one of the things that SVT did to go in for the weight reduction on the vehicle. Now, so as you can see, no rear seat. Your fuel door is right there. And coming along on this side, you do have your very nice uh, Cobra-esque spoiler on the vehicle. Your three band tail lights right here. And this very nice Cobra badge. And a single tipped exhaust port down below. Everything of course follows through on this side. Now, another thing, like I said, that makes the Cobra R unique is there is practically power nothing in this vehicle. You have manual mirrors, you have manual locks, and you have roll-up windows. Coming inside the Cobra R, you do have a very nice set of gauges here. Again, no cruise control like you would find on a standard Mustang. Hazards are right here. I believe that would be a defroster switch for a rear defroster. But like I said, you do also have just heat, no air conditioning, just like on that 95 Cobra R. Five speed manual. Your parking brake is right here. Mustang badge, just like on a normal Fox body. Small glove box. And coming around here, if you flip the seat forward, you'll see, like as we said, that big, huge spot of weight reduction. Ironically enough, you do have a couple of speakers, so I guess in case if you wanted to add a radio, here's the hood release. And we'll gently close, we'll gently close the door to the Cobra R. just stop the recording right here while I figure out the hood release and finally here's the heart of the Cobra the 5 liter Cobra engine and I'll put in some specs in the description box below as well as a link to the inventory that you can find here at this dealership so I thank you all for watching and take care